Hi there and welcome to this extended question on synoptics. So that's where we've got two topics we're going to combine together. Okay. So the question is, Laura Kenny is seven time world champion and four time Olympic champion. She's looking forward to Tokyo 2020 and believes she'll be victorious in the Omnium event at Tokyo due to her track record in previous competitions. The Omnium is a multi-race event consisting of five activities in one competition. Analyse Laura's statement using Veeley's model of self-confidence and Wiener's model of attribution to explain her ongoing success. And it's worth 15 marks. And if you're not sure who she is, OK, or what the event is, it's cycling, indoor track cycling. So our command word is analyse. Our topic areas are Veeley's model of self-confidence and v Wiener's attribution theory. And the focus area is all about Laura Kenny's success in her event. We start with our AO1, which is our identify and describe. Then we move on to our AO2, which is our applying of our specific examples. And AO3, which is where we explain, we give those reasons, okay? We analyse. Remember, use these connective words to make sure that your continuous prose links together. So going over to AO1. Well, Veeley's model of self-confidence, that is the influence of trait confidence, state confidence, the situation and the competitive orientation of a performer. Competitive orientation, that's how much somebody is drawn to those challenging situations. Confidence gained in one area of sport is used to improve confidence in a different sporting activity. Trait confidence, OK, that is the where we rate our chance of doing well across a range of sports. State confidence, that's where we rate our confidence doing well in a specific situation. And if you look here, specific, situation and state all begin with the letter S. So that's an easy way to remember that. They combine to produce a level confidence in a, an objective sporting situation. If the skill has been successful in the past, our trait and state confidence is going to be high. The objective situation, that's the conditions that the skills performed in. So, for example, a large crowd and the pressure to do really well. Wiener's model is all about the reasons for winning or losing. We've got the locus of causality. OK, now that can be an internal attribute. So that's what we can control, the performer control or an external attribute. So that's where we can't control it. We've got our locus of stability. If we say it's stable, it's unlikely to change. If it's unstable, of course, the word means that it's likely to change. Going over to AO2 then. So let's link these two bits together. So the locus of causality, well, that's going to be internal. OK, it's going to be within the performer's control. Then we've got our locus of stability. Well, it's going to be stable. It's unlikely to change because it's internal and stable. The success will be down to Laura's ability. OK, winning her events. We, she's attributing her success to her ability. She's seven time and four time Olympic champion. OK, so you can quote that from that statement. Veeley's model supports Laura's high confidence going into the event. Now, the difference between Laura and less successful athletes is Laura possesses greater self-confidence. The state confidence then, well, her confidence is going to be high because she's been very successful in the past winning that Omnium event. So we're not just looking at lots of different events or across a range of sports. We're looking at that specific event. Now, her trait confidence, well, her confidence is going to be high. If we remember, the Omnium is made up of multi events, OK, in cycling. And she's obviously going to be very successful in all of those events. So leading to trait confidence being high. AO3. Well, her success is obviously down to experience. She has internal and stable attributions, which helps to promote her task persistence. So she sticks with it and increases her motivation, which obviously increases her confidence because we she can attribute her success to her and her winning to her ability. It's internal and stable. That attribute is her ability is unlikely to change in the short term. OK. And it's always in her control, so it increases her confidence. It says she's looking forward to Tokyo 2020, so it shows that she's drawn to competitive scenarios. 
So that's a concept there of competitive orientation that we looked at earlier. So the increased confidence, okay, increases her performance, which then ultimately increases her trait confidence, okay, so her confidence across a range of events. She evaluates her performance and it leads to increased confidence next time she does the Omnia. It's difficult, though, to analyse the full effect of her trait and state confidence and her competitive orientation as we don't know Laura's personality type. Hopefully that's helped you with Veely and Wiener. OK, bye for now.